Use of L-shaped equipment. Through this, we will gain mastery in doing precise work. We will also understand the tools used to make the wall straight or vertical or oblique. Hey, this line has become crooked. Erase it. Here, the teacher's attention goes to the wall being built by the workers. The line became crooked? You guys didn't use the right equipment. That's why the line has become crooked. Look, this is tri-square. If we want to mark a 90 degree at any place, then we can mark 90 degree by using it. Come on, now let me tell you how to mark with this. First of all, we have to connect it parallel to our main line. This is our starting point. After joining here, draw a line with chalk. So we got 90 degrees. And this is our reference line. Now we can take this line forward, hold the line string, join it with this line and move the line forward with the chalk. Now remove the line string. Continue now. Yes, perfect. Now remove the string. Yes. Look, it is also equal, isn't it? See, this line is exactly 90 degrees. You saw? How the right equipment ensures accurate and safe results. What are the steps to make a perfect square? Place the square on the surface, making sure both sides are even with the edges. Check using the inside corner as a guide. Match it directly to a corner or crossing. Place the square exactly and mark parallel lines on its edge. Align the blade with the marked line and use a ruler to measure and mark. Now let's understand plumb, bob or sahul. A precision instrument for measuring vertical or vertical straightness. What are you doing? Checking the plumb, this is wrong way. To check the plumb, this instrument is used. It is called plumb bob in English and sahul in Hindi. You can check the verticality of wall placing like this. It has to be taken down to the surface of last brick. And if gap is there, then it has to be adjusted. If the gap of only one millimeter, then this wall is fine. You can always make a wall by using it. That too, your wall will be good again. Okay, in vertical, let's use it always. Okay, it's correct. Correct second corner. 
That's right. Always use plum to check vertical alignment. Yes. Sharukh. When you check the plum with stone and rope, that's the wrong method. If you want to check the straightness of the wall, then always use a plum. Okay. If you check using the plum, it will be right in the vertical. And always use it, okay? Follow these steps to measure accurate vertical straightness. Add a strong string in the hook of plum bob. Let it hang freely from a fixed point. Make a mark at the base of the plum bob cord. This mark represents the precise vertical straightness. How to check precise vertical straightness? Put the plumb bob on the surface. Ensure cord contact. Match the surface marks and string for precise vertical straightness. Spirit level equipment. Us know what is the correct method of diagonal flatness in modern technology? Is this wall level correct now? Have you checked? You didn't, right? Come on, let me tell you how to check. This is your straight edge. Put this on top. Now keep the spirit level on top of it. If your bubble is inside these two lines, then our level of the wall is correct. If it is out of line, then it means our wall level is not correct. Check it twice. Look at it. Turn around and then keep it. Correct? Okay, it's always good to check like this in future. Steps for accurate horizon or flat surface measurement. Place the flat level on the surface. Ensure stability and there should be no tilt. Check bubble. The centered bubble is a sign of a flat surface. Correct if it is off the center. Laser Distance Measuring Machine Here, our worker measures the distance through tape. The instructor here measures the distance with the help of a laser machine. Use a laser machine to measure the exact distance. Let's learn old and modern instruments through pictures. You have to choose the correct picture here. Question 1. Choose the recommended method for creating the class. Question 2. Choose modern and accurate tools to check accurate vertical straightness. Question 3. Choose modern and precise equipment to check the horizontal straightness. Question 4. What should be the relationship between the two sides meeting at the corner to establish a square corner? A. Parallel B. Equal in length. C. Vertical straightness. D. Curved. The correct answer is C. Question 5. 
What is the correct method of checking the verticality of a wall? A. Using a modern plumb bob. B. Using a flat level tool. C. Both of the above. D. Neither of the above two. The correct answer is C.